Playing characters who have who have who grown appreciation and a delight for things of Earth, Good Omen seems to be making this argument for humans, despite our many flaws and evils, are worth saving. Um, but what do you think the show is trying to say about the reason humans are worth saving? I, I would say it's not in spite of their flaws; it's because of their flaws. Mm. Right. Time to leave the garden. Let me tempt you to a spot of lunch. Temptation accomplished. <laughs> Crowley used to be Hale's emissary on Earth, but uh, because of the, the uh, what happened in season one, he no longer is. So he's now a free agent, really. Unfortunately, uh, there was a flash apartment that came with the job. So now he's living in his car with his pot plants um, and sort of uh, feeling at least liberated, if a little down on his luck. Take a big cup, put six shots of espresso into it, nothing else. That sounds fun. Does it calm you down? Not really. Nina, what do you sell that calms people down? Eccles cakes. Some Eccles cakes, please. How's your naked man friend? He's not... He's not my... But he's certainly not naked anymore. Zerophil is just a little country girl. <laughs> She's tending her sheep. And... <laughs> no, funnily enough, Aziraphale is Crowley's counterpart. Yeah. And an angel who is uh, on Earth and who has sort of come to fall in love with the delights of Earth, really. He loves a nice meal, he runs a bookshop, and then he, uh, through his work, uh, discovers uh, that he has this counterpart on Earth, and they decide that they're going to come to an agreement. Instead of cancelling each other out with good deeds and bad deeds, they decide to sort of help each other out every now and again. So they sort of form That's this relationship. Work. Exactly. They form this relationship which develops into something uh, bigger and bigger, and by the start of season two, in some ways they've sort of got what they want, whereby mm -hmm. they're not anymore connected to their uh, relative head head offices. They're now a sort of team of their own, and they just get to spend as much time as they want together. But Aziraphale doesn't know that Crowley is living out of his car, and so Aziraphale might be a little bit happier with his lot than, than Crowley. And then this other figure appears, who uh, is uh, the Angel Gabriel, who is Aziraphale's ex-boss. And, and he has tried to previously get rid of both of them. Exactly. And he comes along, and this strange, odd couple, this weird marriage, uh, th th this married couple have to kind of look after this odd child now mm. who comes along. And so that's the kind of dynamic we get into. At the because beginning. the angel Gabriel doesn't know he's the angel Gabriel. That's the important, but he's, a, exactly. now he's an amnesiac, naked, carrying a cardboard box. The archangel Gabriel has disappeared. Hi there. Ah, Gabriel! What's he doing here? I don't know. What's happened to him? I don't know. This is the mystery of Good Omen season two. Yeah. And all I have to say is that that character is John Hamm. Yeah. So a naked John Hamm appears in our lives, which I'm sure most people would welcome. You know what it's like when you don't know anything at all and yet you're totally certain that everything would be better if you were just near one particular person? No, well, certainly not. I mean, these are two very flawed characters that are at the heart of it. And it's it's their flaws, I think, that bind them together and make make them have to rely on each other. And I think ultimately that's what the story is about, I guess, is about how uh, they're sort of more human than the humans. And it is their flaws, their weaknesses that you realize is their saving grace. And it's also about two polar opposites, an angel and a devil finding common ground who can somehow work together rather than against each other and make the world a better place. And if that's not a message for today, then I don't know what is. Mm. <laughs> uh, those are all the questions I have for you guys. I'm such huge fans of both of yours, uh, and uh, I can't wait for the show to come out. I think it's going to be great. One a little bit more than the other, maybe? I think I may have just started a war. Oh, hell, I like that.